know, it's a bit cold, you know. It is cold, innit? 10k jute. Come on, film crew. <sighs> Let's go, man. So today Waj is going to be performing a 10k run whilst fasting. Hey, and we're off. <laughs> so Waj today is going for a 10 kilometer run in aid for a water well. A water in water in Ghana. Army Roma as a commentary on um, this evening. So far we're doing, we've covered 0 0.43 kilometers. He's going for the 10K run whilst fasting. As a treat, I've ordered um, two pizzas. Well, a, a pizza party box from Jay's Chicken on Claremont Road. <laughs> he let it smirk in. <laughs> He's got that to look forward to. <laughs> Oh god damn it, put your gear in properly son. Uh, that annoys me man, you know as a part-time driving instructor. All the training has led up to this moment. Like you see here we're on King's Road in Old Trafford. You know to get water in Ghana they have to walk many many miles, kilometers in the scorching heat. Just covered the first kilometer. What's the pace Wadge? 534 still a bit quick but we'll keep it at that if you're comfortable business look at the sun mashallah today we are looking like beautiful i have to figure out a way to go on these pavements and off whilst waj can just hop over them last time he ate drank or anything was probably before fajr this morning around i'd say between 2 3 p a.m in the morning he's running on e as we speak E for empty, but it's all for a great call. Hard work, dedication. I, I, big massive thank you to everyone that's tuned in. Big massive thank you for everyone that's donated thus far and supporting this great cause. Water for Ghana. <clears throat> Why actually did this last year? And I thought he was a madman then. He's even madder right now. But Alhamdulillah, last year he managed uh, to raise. Just a little over 3300 and so far we've already smashed that target so we've just done about, about just under two kilometers right now we're just going for 10k today and we're back we've just had a slight technical glitch well i say a technical glitch i guess we'll actually take a few pictures of this superstar right now Stop it, you. <laughs> what's the pace on there what's the average pace 549, 549. that's good that's good that's a nice steady pace wedge The birds are singing. It's happy days. So far, we're just over 2k. To be honest, the way he is doing this is making it look so easy. It's just incredible. And I don't think we're going to wait. Shout out to Muhammad Bin Ali, who was about to complete his 10k. Wow. You've got other people running. Madness. There's a lot of mad people out here right now. I believe we've got Muhammad Bin Ali, Mr. Wajahat Hussain. Mr. Niaz, I believe he's doing his 10K today at some point, if he hasn't already done so. And we've also got brother Akil, coach Akil, who's going to be doing a full marathon post iftar, inshallah. And that's something to look forward to as well. How are you feeling, Waj? It's all right, pace dropping a big... I might just leave Waj alone, you know, I might just follow that guy. Ah, we're committed to the cause, guys, we're committed to the cause. So we're just going to move to the stats department. Grab me one sec, guys. So right now we're 3.39 kilometers into the run. Pace is looking good. 5.51, I like that. It's nice and steady. As long as we don't hit six, as long as we don't touch six, we'll complete it within the hour. So far, we're just over a third into the run. And um, he's doing well. Good form, steady pace, not bursting all his energy at once. Of you know, Wolbraham Road and 
Barlow Moor Road. The lights are green, so I'm just gonna go nice and steady here. And I'm just gonna hope with your hat is also gonna just come follow me along the way. Yep. I like it when the lights are green, you know, then he doesn't he doesn't interrupt with your pace. You know, you've got YG here, he's fasting, running 10k, and then you've got Subway here, you've got Mahomi here, you've got Dixie here, you've got Sanam here. Charlton Meat Market, not halal. And you got the opticians, you know, for vision and food. Uh, we'll just ignore that. You've got the Atlantic Fish Bar. You've got the. Well, I mean, he's got a mad beard game, so maybe I'll bring him over there. Anyways, again the lights are green. You know when the lights are green, it just makes life a whole lot easier. We're just going on a bit of an incline right now, which makes things a little bit difficult. Oh man, even I'm getting tired just pressing these pedals. But white right, right here just kind of stepping up a little bit. I'm taking it nice and slow. Why right, I got a text saying not long now, your order is on its way. <laughs> it's in Wadge. Mr. Uma Lucky. I hope I am pronouncing these names and I'm doing them justice. It's called Machu Picchu. Huh? It's called Machu Picchu. Oh, it's called Machu Picchu. Brother, Machu Picchu. By the way, guys, what gets me involved in crazy challenges? I always say no. But now he says. <laughs> Is that time, bro? Roti everywhere. Halfway through. Look at him blasting it. Blasting through those kilometers as we speak on a one man mission for a greater good. I already knew this guy was a madman. Bringing you live action. To be honest, I'm craving for some sort of sports, but this right here doesn't get any more exciting. Right, left, right, left. Oh my days, the footwork is impeccable. How you feeling, watch? All right, we're not gonna talk then. Even close to 6K. So four to go. We're not actually that far. We are not that far actually. You got Mr. Armin Omar on the commentary guys. Here we have it. With my crusted lips. But again, it's not about me today. It's a hard. It? So we're just shy of 6k right now. We've got just over four to go. And to be honest, I don't know how he's doing this. He is absolutely smashing it. I'm just gonna. The sun is beautiful today. Mashallah. Look at that. Da, 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 da. And again, thank you for our amazing NHS staff. NHS staff. Thank you indeed. So for those who are hoarding, fill up your petrol, your diesel, my local shell. This is actually going against the wind as we speak right now. But Wadja doesn't know brakes. Wadja has no idea what brakes are. This individual right here is a machine right now as we speak. He's going. To be honest, I don't even know how he's still going. <laughs> oh, Wadge right here is an animal. He is an animal, I must say. We've actually ordered food from that street right there. We could just go and sit with a delivery driver and... Yes, brother! I will see you in Machu Picchu! I will see you in Machu Picchu! Yes, Aslam right there. Guys, Aslam is another individual who does crazy work for the community. Mr. Armin Omar here, point in life, on a pedal bike, nothing too exciting really. And uh, just making sure that he's healthy, he's sound. I know that he's going to be all right anyways with his time and everything. But just in case he, uh, anything happens really, he's good to run in pairs. And... Um, we're on Claremont Road slash Yarborough Street as we speak. Um, we're gonna go. Are we turning straight? Yes. He just pointed and he said straight. That's all Wedge knows. Straight down. Is that our food? I think that's the guy from the food, you know. Let me see. Yes, brother. <laughs> we got some uh, people encouraging Wedge with their horns. That was actually one of the delivery drivers from the takeaway that we ordered from. So uh, let's hope. Keep it sturdy, watch. I 
can actually feel that it's a bit of space because I'm actually pedaling a little bit more than normal. So we're almost done with our 10k guys. We're about eight into the run. Let's see how we cope. This guy's got me going up and down pavements, but I am not complaining much, Allah. I'd say just eight out of 10 into the run. And Waj is picking up the pace, I have to say. He's looking at his phone there. He's almost, he's realizing what pace he's on to get this 10K in under 60 minutes. Waj, let's go. How long, how long you got left? Big deep breaths, big deep breaths. Inhale from the nose, exhale from the mouth. All right, watch, keep up with me now. Just keep up with me. I'm actually pedaling quite fast. So just keep up with me. Keep up with me, watch, let's go. 10K for a greater good. Keep it going. Keep it going, watch. Let's keep it going, bro. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Are we turning or are we? No, we're not. Keep going. Stay in the frame, stay in the shot. You're actually going pretty fast. I like it. <laughs> okay, watch. It has arrived. Let's go. Keep going, watch. Keep going, keep going. Okay, so we are turning. Okay, now is the time, guys. Now is the time, watch, that you really want to press. Let me switch hands one more time. Keep it going, bro. Keep it going. I know you said you're done. Let's build it. Come on, bro. Yeah, he actually is probably done. Come on, bro. You got this. Bro, keep going. Have you done 10K on your phone? Yeah. All right, keep going. One more. One more, guys. Come on. We go for 11. <laughs> the pizza's arrived. And now we have clocked in our 10K. That's it, walk it off now, walk it off. Come on. I'm gonna get off my bike as well to do a post uh, match interview. Oh man. Keep walking, why keep walking? <laughs> I actually just ran 10K. How <laughs> oh, is this guy just doing 10K like that? Oh, I was busted. MashaAllah, that's all I have to say, man. MashaAllah. Absolute machine, I have to say. What an incredible human being. He's got a top one from the mount he, from the time that he actually trekked Mount Tukal in uh, Atlas, highest peak in North Africa. Bro, flip it on me. Flip it on you. The man says flip it on him. What you see right here is absolutely nothing compared to what the people are going, are going through. One hour, I'm tired and I'm about to faint. But think about the people that walk three miles every single day, one way there, one way back, picking up water that you would never dream to give your kids, your old parents. Imagine at night, imagine at night, your mom calls you and says, Beta, go get me some water from the sink. And instead of getting the cold water that we take so for granted from our bathroom, from our sink in our kitchen, instead we're bringing urine infested, feces infested, muddy, dirty water to your mum's lips in the night. That's the reality for them, walking three miles scorching so in 40 degrees centigrade. Women and children alike. In Ghana, you have tribes. And one of the chiefs of the tribe told us when we went there that his wife just passed away. His wife just passed away. What war do you think they used to do the hustle of a body in that moment? What I've done here is absolutely nothing. 10 times this will still be absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm going to do 100 kilometers this Ramadan, inshallah. Because this struggle over here is absolutely nothing compared to them. Is this, if this is what it takes to turn some heads to what's going on to our brothers and sisters in Ghana, it's a small price to play. It's a small price to pay. So please guys, keep continuing to support this work. I'm going to do another 50 kilometers, I think, this Ramadan, inshallah. All in aid of the people in Ghana. I'm counting on your support. Let's give them clean water this Ramadan, inshallah.